You may have heard of the term food desert. Uh, those are places where fresh produce really isn't available. It's often in poorer communities. My next guest is a Chicago entrepreneur with a clever solution. He is growing fresh veggies in a shipping container at a fraction of the cost of traditional farming. And it's located in the community, which cuts down on transportation. Even better, he's teaching the next generation about sustainable farming. That makes him a rad human. The after school special vibe is amazing. Uh, please welcome the founder of Ditto Foods, Derek, everybody. So explain how Ditto Foods works. Uh, so Ditto Foods, well, one thing you said was about a food desert. When we started the business, that was one of the things we wanted to change was the narrative about a food desert because a desert is supposed to be barren. Mm -hmm. Communities aren't supposed to be barren of food. And so my husband and I started this company and what we do, we are a hydroponic produce farming company where we grow three acres of produce in the back of a 40 foot shipping container. Yeah. So I always say it's like you take three acres of land Stand it up, compress it, and you put it in the Vertical back of a farming. truck. Vertical yeah. farming. Vertical yeah. farming, yeah. And really it's bad. hydroponic, so we use, there's no soil. Yeah. We use water as That's our That's good, because we're running out of that, but cool. Yeah. Which is why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. So, and, and working with the kids to teach them about the future of what our food system will most likely be. Yeah, it could be and should be. But it's been a bumpy road to creating the company, right? It wasn't easy. Bumpy is an understatement. Okay, bumpy I kept it nice. Bumpy is an understatement. Nice. You yeah. know, keep it nice, <laughs> keep it nice and clean. Uh, so in 2020, I, like many people, was a casualty of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I've always worked in food, and so when I lost my job, I knew that I had to do something. And so I knew it had to be with food, and I knew it had to do something with giving back to the community. And so <laughs> I went to my husband and said, I think I want to be a farmer. Yeah. <laughs> right. By the way, that's, that's like... That's what he did. He laughed like, at me. <laughs> I don't know. That's some sexy talk. That's foreplay for me. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Somebody walks and says, I want to be a farmer. I'll be like, what's up? I don't think he... What's up? Like, I don't think he thought that because we lived in a townhouse at the time. Who so. cares? It's so sexy. You want to so, do something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I went to him and said, I want to be a farmer. He looked at me like I had lost my mind. <laughs> and so I started the process of going down this rabbit hole of, of trying to become a farmer and happened upon this idea of growing food in the shipping container. And we went to 25 banks. 25 banks told us no. So it was like one after the next, no. And as I always say, the universe spins in my direction. And the second no that we got, six months later called us and was like, I know we, we couldn't do it, but I have a colleague at another bank that might be able to help you out. When does that happen? That, yeah. God made it happen, that's what yeah. happened. And that was our one yes. That wow. Was yes. That was our one yes. So. And you also had a house fire happen. Yeah. yeah. There's just like hurdle after hurdle after hurdle. Yeah, so that's 2020. Last year, 2023, was one hell of a year. It was, started the year off with, we lost our, our crop, first crop of the year because we had an electrical issue. And then July, our house caught fire. And then my husband lost his job. Oh my then my God. son had to be hospitalized. And, and it was just one thing after the next. And so I'm always find the lesson. Mm -hmm. And the lesson was persistence. Just keep going, keep going. And now, 2024, I'm on the Kelly Clarkson show. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are your, what, that is a lot to go through. Yeah. And then I think if you're pushing through and you're still doing what you love, that's meant to be. You know what it's, I'm saying? Like it has that, to. Yeah, yeah that, it has those to roots have to be there. So what, what are your plans beyond, like for the company? So future. Um, the future of Ditto Foods is, the whole thing about Ditto is the reciprocity. So, because if I say Ditto to you, that's an agreement that we just made. And the future of this, the farm itself is the beginning of a bigger plan. We're working with the community develop, uh, Cornerstone Community De Development Corporation, mm -hmm. which is this community center in Fort Heights that's been around for 50 years. They're helping uh, homeless people, they're doing anti-hunger, they're working with folks that were recently uh, recently released from incarceration, get back into the workforce. Wow. And so the work that we're doing with them is about building this ecosystem of businesses and bringing it to the community and having my hometown of Fort Heights, what's up Fort Heights, be mm -hmm. the, the model of what we do in communities just like it. Yeah. And so we really want this to be our incubator, so, so to speak. So cool, well our friends at ConAgra passionately believe in Derek's mission to provide his community consistent access to nutritious food. That is why to help him grow Ditto Food, see what we did there, uh, they're giving the Cornerstone Community Development Corporation $10,000 just to help out. <laughs>
Thank you so much. We, we love what you're doing. It's very cool. The teaching is the best part, yeah. man. So cool. It's the kids.